Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. It's time for my first oil change. Let's do it! Oh my God, Russ can fly. So I'm about to do my first oil change in Charlie. Um, she's due. I definitely want to make sure I take care of the power plant and one of the best things I can do is to make sure I'm changing this oil routinely. So I've got pretty much everything I need. Got a new case of oil, got oil filters, got all the kind of stuff I need to do. Now my friend Brandon is here with me as well. He's over at the FBO. He just bought his own airplane. Congratulations brother. Um, he's probably going to take a look at it now. I'm gonna do a couple laps in the pattern just to kind of get everything warmed up. Um, and so we'll go from there. So there he is back there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple laps in the pattern, but Brandon's gonna help me. He's an AMP. I, I just wasn't feeling comfortable doing it by myself for the first time. So gonna pull Charlie out, gonna pull flight, pull Charlie out, do some laps in the pattern, get the oil warm, and then we'll go through it. Try to show you as much as I can. You know, I, I wanna get my hands dirty, so don't be holding this stupid camera. But at any rate, that's what's on tap for today. Let's get to it. So we've done our run up, done the little uh, pattern. Charlie is cooking. So we're gonna have to low, wait for a little bit, let things cool down, get this cowling off. And I mean, ooh, ooh, yeah, all of that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. So in the meantime, yeah, I'll, uh, Get some of the other stuff ready but yeah i mean this is uh this is change. this part of the the fun of airplane ownership you know just doing all this stuff i'm like so used to just dropping off the keys okay good luck have fun <laughs> so all right so we're gonna let this cool down and uh we'll get the cowling off and we'll go from there okay so it's cooled down a little bit you can see we've got the top cowling off but it is really hot so we're gonna to have to take this bottom cowling off. So Brandon's not working on no set of screws over there. I'm gonna go on these set and um, yeah. But see, here's the oil filter. There's a drain plug down there. So I'll try to show you all of this stuff once we get this bottom cowling off. You know, I'll look at the exhaust manifolds coming out, make sure they're not leaking. You can tell when they're leaking because usually you'll see white trails. Some of the oh, someone's in that cowling, okay. You'll see like white trails of smoke popping out. You'll see like stains there. Okay. But you see how this is all uniform, same color on the intakes and the exhaust. Okay. I also check for oil leaks. Sometimes you'll see oil leaks around those uh, uh, manifold gaskets as well. Okay. All right. And just general, you know, overall, anything that looks like it's out of place. Okay. That might strike you. So I'll check out all this wiring bundle and make sure that it's secure. I make sure that where any of these wirings are coming in contact with the connectors that they're not worn through. Okay. Right. Um, your fuel lines and your uh, any of those lines, make sure nothing looks ruptured. You're not seeing any leaks anywhere. Okay. And your engine's in pretty good oil con condition, right? You're right. not seeing. It's very common to see like, you know, leaks on the oil pan, um, leaks at the cylinder um, flanges as well. But you're not seeing anything here. It's you know, it's uh, pretty okay. good shape. Gotcha. So. And this is that. Air filter. This is your air filter. Okay. Right. Yeah. So All you right. can see here, this is the. It's um. Change the oil filter. You simply just turn the screw here. Okay. And pull this bracket off. Okay. And it's a um like a wet. That's the one you have in that bag. It's in that bag. It's okay. It's like a, a round oval. Right. And it's it's permeated with an oil. And you simply just slide it off and you put it on. It's very gooey. Okay. Um, but it's designed to catch any sort of you know, uh, particulates in the air. Gotcha. So I look at that, make sure it's not mangled, nothing's missing there. Um, you know, the baffling here is intact as well. Oh, okay. That's another thing yeah. I look at, because again, this is creating a seal when it's pressed against the, um, gotcha. the cowling, All right? Gotcha. And just, you know, overall, so everything looks good. Um, check out your baffling as well around the engine, make sure nothing's missing. Again, the whole point of the baffling is, is as air enters the engine, okay. the baffling is pressing against the cowling. Okay. So you have high pressure air coming at the top of the engine. And the way these are cooled, they're not liquid cooled, they're um, air cooled. That's so why you have these fins. Gotcha. So to draw the heat off the engine, you have these extra fins. And you can always tell the exhaust valve from the intake valve on an engine because the exhaust valves have more fins. They're, big, oh, they're gotcha. bigger. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right? It's pulling more heat off. Gotcha. So you want to have the baffling intact because the pressure, it keeps all that air pressure at the top and it forces the air to come in 
it hits the baffling, it hits the cowling, it hits his back baffling, and forces it, forces it, down, it down through there. Through okay. The engine and out the bottom. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So you just want to make sure all oh, that's okay. And you see, the guy, they did a pretty good job here. All that's intact. They have some sealant they put there as well on the uh, um, around the engine mounts. Mm -hmm. You know, I checked these out. These look pretty good as well. And uh, yeah, looks like it's in pretty good shape. All right, very good. All right. Um, same thing with your mufflers. You can't really see because the shroud's on, but um, you know, make sure these aren't cracked. That's a big source of um, that carbon, monoxide. carbon monoxide poisoning, right, right? right? So this is your this is your carb heat actually. Okay. So what happens is you have this air that's running around this muffler shroud, uh -huh, okay. and it's being warmed up by the um, exhaust gas that's coming out of the exhaust manifold. Okay. It's run through there. Right. So this is warm air. So when you pull the carb heat, oh. it closes the trap door on this box and diverts the air from the air filter okay. to this instead. Okay. So now you have this hot air going into your um, uh, carburetor instead of the cold air. Gotcha. All right, so that's how the car heat works. Gotcha. And the same thing for our, actually, yeah, this is carb heat, and then this one would be the cabin heat. Same principle. Gotcha. So you have, this is the exhaust shroud. Gotcha. If you open this clamp up, you'll see the inside of the muffler, and it's basically a hollow space in between the two of them. The warm air, or the, the air comes in from here. Okay. It goes into this tube. It gets heated up by this uh, exhaust stack. Okay. And then that warm air passes over the exhaust and then goes into the cabin to warm you up. Gotcha. So what typically happens is these pieces, as they get older, they become brittle and the metal can crack. And if that, if the inside baffling cracks, it's going to leak the exhaust gases oh, into the back stream. into the, oh, and then and back into get, the cabin. Yeah, that's how you get the carbon monoxide poisoning. Wow. So that's a very big thing to check during your annuals. Gotcha. Uh, to, you tear, take that open to make sure there's no cracks in the exhaust um, uh, system. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, so excellent. So, yeah. So for the oil change, it's very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to attach a hose onto this little nub here. Okay. And we'll pull this up and pop it over. And like, did he safety wire this? Yeah, he did. Hold on, let me see. I think it might just be. The... Oh, it's fine. It's just yeah, the, it's just, just the... screwing. That's fine. So we'll just put a hose onto this. We'll pull it up and turn it, and we'll drain the oil out of it. Let that drain for like five minutes. Make sure it's all out. Okay. And then uh, we'll replace the oil. Just okay. The Very good. All right. So we got the bucket, got the tubing, and let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> so we're just gonna unfurl that tubing. And actually, if you want to grab one of those, um, grab one of those testers kits. Oh yeah, that's right. So the other thing we're going to do is uh, we got an oil testing kit. So we're going to take a sample of this oil and uh, just see what's happening. I actually want to save some of this. Okay, I got a blade. Yeah, perfect. That's why when I got my new keychain, yeah. I put a blade on it. Might as well. <laughs> I was like, cause you never know. You never know. There we go. Fits like a glove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I did that measurement. Good thing for my aviation YouTube partners. Yeah. All right, so what we'll do here is we simply just push that up like that, and there you go. Yeah, so our oil is running out. Mm -hmm. So you let like the first quart drain off. Okay. You're supposed to let the first quart drain off. Take our sample from here. And as you can see, Brandon is cinching the hose until he can get the little testing container underneath it, and then basically just lets the oil flow again, and you know fills it up into the testing receptacle, and mm -hmm. that's it. And just let that finish draining off. Yep. And that's cool. That so that quick connect valve yeah. is like that game awesome. saver. Yeah. yeah. Should cut it shorter. Oh yeah, so it's not resting down in there. But that's all good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we'll let that drain off. And we'll keep our samples. And what you do is, when you go home, you just fill out all the information on the bag. Um, and um, yeah, you just fill out your aircraft number and all the stuff that stuff they're asking for. Mm -hmm. And then you just put it back in the pouch inside. It's pre-postage and you mail it off. And in a couple of weeks, they'll come back to you and tell you what your um, yeah. uh, health of your engine. Cool. All right, so while that's draining, what I'll do is I'm gonna come and uh, grab this box of oil. 
So we'll just let that drain out some more. But we're gonna do this filter too. You don't happen to have any brake cleaner, do you? I don't. All right, so one of the things, I got the oil filter, got the safety wire, and as you can see here, and as you can see here, this is where this uh, safety wire is. And I actually do have a torque wrench, so we're gonna torque this down, all that kind of stuff. So, um, but yeah. And then this is the oil filter cutter, so we can pull the element out, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, the Home Depot. There's a Home Depot about seven miles away. Okay, so what happened now? You hear me talking about hardware stores and Home Depot and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Well, come to find out that we Keep don't have down. tools that will fit the filter. I need another wrench. Um, and, you know, that, that this has been part of the, the project as well. Just needing different pieces. So we're on our way to True Value Hardware to get some more tools. Yeah. All right, let's so get this up. Yeah. So we'll, you, we'll try True Value since it's yeah. close. And then we're... All right, so you can see this is draining nicely. Got the oil cap off or the, you know, dipstick. And that's draining out. So we're just letting that do its thing. And uh, so we need a bigger wrench. And so we're making a run to the hardware store. Ah, all these little lessons I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so one thing I've learned about this whole thing is that just when you think you have everything, you don't. Um, so we had to make a quick run to the hardware store and I definitely thank Brandon profusely um, for, you know, his patience. So I had to get another wrench, had to get this brake cleaner. He says he'll show me what that's for later. Um, and, you know, and all that other stuff, so. Moving the bucket over to the uh, filter. oil filter and uh, a pair see what of, catch. Um, uh, diagonal cutters. Oh, um, yeah. And it has a ratchet mechanism. So what you do is you put the safety wire, and there's also those cutters in there as well. Okay. So you use it to cut the safety wire. So you grip it, you pull this in to itself, right? So you get that, that little tab there to lock. Uh -huh. And you pull this piece down and it locks it. So then it holds this in place. Okay. And you simply pull this out and it spins and it twists the safety wire. Okay. Because the old school way of doing it is you literally sit there and twist oh, it. Oh, okay. And okay. there's a formula to it. The guidelines is supposed to, if you measure it, it's supposed to have, I think it's eight to 10 or seven to 10 twists per inch. Okay. Is what the guideline says. When you. Uh, you know, right. But I don't know if anyone ever actually follows that. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're done, you simply just squeeze it and it releases the clamp. Okay. So here's what you can do. I'll let you do it. You okay. Can simply just fish this behind there and just cut the um cut the wire. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that cutter's down at the bottom. Yeah. So just you can try to get it in between. Yeah. Yeah. Just cut that. There you go. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So now it's unsafety. Okay. All right. And then with this one, what I usually do is I'll just reach up here and cut that. And then that's broken. We're good to go. Um, be careful with safety wire on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I literally punctured my tire coming wow. out of LA wow. with a piece of safety wire like, like this. So we will be using the oil filter box for safety wire. So just put that in there. And then we just break this one free. So I'll just come down here. That's tight, that's loose. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. There we go. Try to do this as smooth as possible. See what I mean? Oh, I see. Now I understand why we need the brake cleaner. That oil really started coming out of that filter. Like I said, the grates can get it off with minimal spillage. I'm out of practice. <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna lie, but I was surprised about the amount of oil that came out of the oil filter before he even started to dump it in the bucket. I mean, it was literally like, it seems like it was almost like under pressure and it was welling up out of the oil filter, which man, that was kind of a trip for sure. Okay. Do you mind hanging some uh, towels on the other side? Okay, so I understand the brake cleaner now. Uh, you just never want to get this in the paint because this will screw up your paint. Uh-huh. Uh, let's just drain for now, I guess. 
It will let that dry. Yeah, just let that dry. <laughs> All right, let's cut the oil filter. So okay. The oil filter wrench. The oil filter wrench is right there. Oh, perfect. So, what we do here. Ooh. We simply screw this out. Like a giant can opener. Mm hmm. You screw that in. That's my wrench over there. Cool. Basically inside of an oil filter. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now what we'll do is we'll get a knife and we'll just cut apart that filtering element. Okay. And we'll take a look at the inside of that. As well. Yeah. Yeah, it gets a little fun. It's a little messy. Yeah, I see. It's like, yeah. Want to put it back in the box? Yeah, let's do that. So it'll stand up for you. Yeah, I can see this gets a little. Little messy. The more you do it, but you know, the, yeah, you get better at anything else. The better it becomes, the easier it becomes. Right. So that looks like that's pretty much done draining off now. And I was working on this barren, and you know, you touch everything, you get dirty. Uh huh. And I went inside of his aircraft, and we were putting it back together, the interior, and I left handprints. Oh. Uh huh. And I was a bit young, and the guy was super pissed. My boss came back out to me and was like, "Hey, you know." You know, be mindful when you're putting together somebody's, you know, hundred thousand right, dollars. Right. And in my young adolescent brain, I couldn't understand like, what's the big difference. It's just a smudge mark. It's right. Like, right. You know. Right. But uh, you know, it's somebody's uh, toy and someone's invested in it. And, you know, you know all the time it took you to get to this point to have this. Right. 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 You know, a good mechanic is respectful of that. So it's something as simple as cleaning up this oil that drips down and not right. leaving it there. And also, oil collects dirt. Oh, and right. Dirt can hide, you know, cracks and other things as well. So, gotcha. You know, it's always just a point of like, you know, good uh, etiquette. To, yeah. You know, go the extra mile. So Makes that's sense. How I, that's how I judge mechanics. You know. Gotcha. If they're doing little things like that, right? You know, if I come right. back to my airplane and I see smudges, or I see, you know, uh, spills from the oil change, they didn't clean it up. I don't expect them to be great, but you know, some things to just be. You know, it should be just taken care of. Right, right. All right, so that's good, that's good. You can now put this on. Clean that pad off, I'm just make sure it's clean. And again, this oil filter says install it dry, so we'll do that. Tight. Tighten that up, and if you have that torque wrench, I do. Okay, so now it's time to torque down the air the air filter, the oil filter, and um, yeah, make sure it's within spec. There you go. All right. That's so cool. until it clicks, huh? Yep. Always. How much safety wire do you pull out of the container and that kind of thing? As much as you want. <laughs> you have that safety wire pliers around? Oh, it's right here. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to be a little generous here. Okay. So we'll take that. And again, you're safety in the direction of it being tightened. So I will go from this one over here in this corner. Okay. I'll bring it up and over to here. Okay. So what I'll do is I will loop it around. And I'm not going to lie. This safety wire business was the most intimidating part of this whole process. This one. Just basically pull it where it's even good and what you do is 
Simply just bring it up along the side, and you guesstimate it about there. Okay. So then you grab it, lock it. Okay. And then just twist it. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it does all the work for you. It twists it, and then I run it up to here. And see, that was about there a little short, so I can grab a little bit more. And twist that. And just wrap it around the hose here. there. That's trash. And you bend it back over itself and you just kind of tuck it in that way. And the purpose of that is so that anybody that's coming over here and working on it doesn't gouge themselves oh, out. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay, so now we can add the oil. All right. Okay, so we got everything on. All the oil is in. Um, so now I'm just in cleanup mode. And one of the things we did here is we cut the filter, looked at it. I have the uh, other parts of the filter in a, in a bag. I'm gonna run a magnet over it just to kind of see, you know, what we're, what we're looking at. See if there's any ferrous metals, um, cause that's, that's kind of key. So, um, so yeah, so gonna put the dipstick in and uh, we're gonna get the cowling back on and then we'll run it, check it for oil pressure. And um, yeah, and so did, uh, did 12 quarts of oil. And uh, so I'm gonna put the dipstick in and see where we are. But uh, <laughs> this is an interesting first job and I am um, so glad that Brandon was here to help me with this because this was definitely a little bit more involved than I thought. I mean, it's not hard, but it's just, you gotta know what you're doing. Um, so, you know, if you're gonna do your own first oil change, I suggest having an A&P with you, <laughs> you know, who's done this before, um, just so that, you know, the safety wiring and all that kind of stuff. All right, so gonna put things back together and uh, pull her back out of the hangar and see how we're doing and maybe go for a flight. Crazy is when I now pull this dipstick out. Can't even see where, the, <laughs> where is the oil? It looks almost empty, um, but that's just cause the oil is so clean. So I'm gonna wipe this off, check it again, but yeah, gotta get this put together and uh, we'll do oil pressure and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we got the airplane out of the hangar. We're gonna do a run up or run it, see what's going on. First thing we'll be looking for as soon as I start the engine is uh, checking the oil pressure for sure. Making sure there's nothing else leaking. And it's funny, when you look at this, this is it. That's all, $60,000. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, this wire, probably $250. Crazy. Anyway, all right. Immediately, as soon as the engine turns on, I'm immediately looking for oil pressure. That is definitely key. Um, and the thing that was beautiful is like within a nanosecond, that oil pressure needle jumped up into the green like really quickly. Beautiful. Then after that, Brandon is looking out to see if anything is leaking. He's looking at the oil filter. He's looking at... Um, you know, all of the connectors, anything that we touched, he's looking to see if anything is leaking. We then did a series of run-ups and all of that kind of stuff just to kind of see how things were going um, and to make sure that there were no leaks.
And after that run up, we did one last check, just looking to see that everything is where it needs to be, that there's no oil leaking, all the lines are where they need to be, um, filters good, um, and everything look great. Is there no place around here we can wash our airplanes at? Not that I, I mean, I've seen them use a hose. Yeah. Okay, people, so we're finally done with the oil change. You know, I can't thank my brother Brandon enough for helping me through this first change. Um, thank you so much, brother. Definitely appreciate it. It really isn't hard. It's just a lot of different pieces, and I didn't have all the tools that I needed. Definitely one of the things I need to do is get a bigger gas can because I got this tiny gas can, and I needed a wrench. Um, but... Yeah, now I am, you know, able to do it. I know what to expect, um, how to go about it, that kind of thing. So we got the uh, quarts of oil in, some cam guard, you know, all that good stuff. We were hoping to fly, but, um, you know, some convective um, activity popped up. Um, so really the only flight I did was this quick, you know, turnaround, you know, just to warm the oil up. So. Anyway, that's it. First oil change in the bucket. And, um, you know, a lot of work, but definitely worth it. All right, I'll t <laughs> talk to you guys later. Russ Kid, Russ Can Fly, I'm out. Peace.